Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. The most emails I get are from kids trying to convince their parents to let them keep reptiles. We're gonna spend this time showing you some tips that we think can really help. And husbands, this may work for you too. You're watching Snake Bites. If you guys are looking to convince your parents, your significant other, or whoever, so that you can get a reptile, we have a few ideas for you, starting with number five. Noah, did you get your homework done? I hate math, but I hate school. I'm not doing my homework. Number five, be a good kid. Hey, Mom, I just finished my homework. Good job, Noah, and I didn't even have to tell you to do it. Hey, Mom, I was thinking about getting a reptile. A reptile? What kind of reptile? A 15-foot croc. What? Are you kidding me? Number four, be reasonable. I've been thinking, yeah, maybe a 15-foot croc is way too big, but what about a corn snake? Yeah, I think a baby corn snake is a lot more reasonable than those other things. Noah, did you feed the dogs earlier today? Yeah, I did that earlier. Noah! Number three, be responsible. Hey mom, I just realized I didn't feed the dogs, but I got it all taken care of now. Hey mom, can I get a Burmese python? No. What about a boa constrictor? No. Hey mom, I really love anacondas. No. Number two, be persistent not a pest. Noah, it's good to be persistent when you want something, but there's a fine line between being persistent and being a pest, and you're stepping over that line. Number one, education. Hey mom, I didn't really want a reptile and I bought these books and magazines and I even looked up a lot of facts on the internet. Wow Noah, I'm really impressed with all the research and everything that you've done. Maybe you are ready for a reptile. Yeah! Hey, there's no guarantee that this is going to work, but you're certainly going to have a lot better chance if you give it a try. I wish you guys the best of luck. Alright guys, it's Cal's question of the week. Well, this episode's all about persuasion, convincing people to do things. I've convinced a few people to do things in my life, but I don't know if they're... I talk about gunpoint, or stuffed animals, or whipped cream. No? It's... Never mind. I got nothing. I want to know from you guys, what have you done to convince somebody to do something? As outrageous as it might be. Like the video, comment below, let me know. And don't hold back. Oh great, another negative reptile article. When will people ever get educated and realize that reptiles are awesome animals? I wonder if snakes will ever get as popular as dogs. Hey, Kel. What? I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to take Sunshine for a walk. Okay. Who's such a pretty girl? You're so cute. Look at you. Yes, you are. Come on, you little pretty girl. Come on. You're such a pretty girl. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Yes. Let's go. Come on, girl. You're taking too long. Come on. Gotta get around the block. Hey, what's this little guy's name? <laughs> it's actually a girl. Oh, what's her name? Sunshine. Really? She is beautiful. How old is she? It's actually a year and a half. She's still just a pup. Really? She's kind of big, huh? You mind if I... Well, no, she loves getting scratched right there. Right yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she loves is that. gorgeous. Where are you guys headed to today? Oh, we're gonna go to the beach. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ready, sunshine? Come on, girl. Catch. <laughs> oh, look, a bird attack in Maine. I'll take it. That's reptiles one, birds nothing. This is Alia Moore for the week, and today I have a pastel camo. You gotta keep up with this one. This one's a little bit difficult. It has pastel, super chocolate, and pinstripe in it. Very friendly. On this week's Common of the Week, on the Snakes and Ratio Profiling episode, the question was, what will put you in a bad mood right away? And Dark Monkey 342 said, Watch your nads. 
I hate it when people wear tap-out shirts and act like they are MMA champions when they really couldn't fight their way out of a paper bag. Or when I mention to someone that I've studied martial arts and they reply with stuff like, well, you can't block my 45 or my gun style beats your monkey style. Yeah, I know what you mean. When people wear those MMA shirts and think they're MMA fighters, it kind of drives me nuts too. I'm totally into it, but I'm far from a fighter. Until next time, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. So there it is. I hope that helps some of you guys out in keeping your first reptile. Remember to huddle up with your parent or your significant other, watch a show, and if this worked, I want to hear about it. So comment down below or send me a picture. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites.